guys, I'm Caitlin, the fitness intern, and we have some tips for stress production today. Um, the first one here we have is simply acknowledging all of the stress you have in your life. And that can seem a bit overwhelming because there's probably a lot, um, unfortunately. And so the things we can do to help get it all out of our head and make it a lot easier to comprehend and deal with is to simply just write it down on a piece of paper, write it in the notes app on your phone. I like to put mine into two different categories, the things I can change now, meaning like the things I can change by the end of today or by the end of tomorrow, and the things that are gonna take more time. Um, I prioritize the things that are easier to tackle that I can finish by the end of the day, and the things that are gonna take more time, I like to actually write out everything that's going that I need to do to finish that task and relieve that stressor and plan what days and what time I'm gonna do it. That way I see a plan. I know that it will eventually get done. But in the meantime, it's kind of overwhelming to see that you still have a lot of stressors that you have to deal with, but you can't do it that quickly. So that's when some self-care really comes into play. Um, like we said, make a plan. That's the easiest way to just get it all out and make it look organized. Um, also, journaling is really helpful. Journaling just about your feelings, about how the day went. Gratitude's really nice. Brain dumping, this is kind of what I classify as brain dumping for myself. Meditation is really great. There's a lot of great apps or just YouTube videos for like meditation when I wake up, meditation before I go to bed, meditation in the middle of the day at work, stuff like that. And also therapy is a really great unbiased source. There's um, a website and company called BetterHelp that is really easy to get in contact with a therapist. You can text them, you can call them, you can video chat with them, and it's really easy and a lot more accessible. That's their whole goal is to be really accessible for people. The next thing we have here is regarding the gym and working out. The gym is meant to be an outlet and not a stressor. So if scheduling time for the gym becomes a big deal and it makes you more anxious and it crams your day and it makes everything more overwhelming, it's time to take a break. It's time to take a break and deal with the stressors over here and get those out of the way so that the gym can be your time and your place to just relax and work on you and your body. Um, after you've taken a break from the gym, whether it be a week or two weeks or a couple months, it's not the end of the world. Pro you don't make progress overnight and so you're not gonna lose progress overnight. And after your break, when you get back to the gym, it's gonna be a, a greater appreciation for it. Your excitement is gonna be there for it again. And third, we have the holidays because of course it's that time. The three things that we really capture with the holidays is money and gifts. Personally, as a college student, I can't just whip out a really nice gift for everyone in my family. So I really prioritize who I want to give um, the best gifts to. I try and make them really personalized and really sentimental because quality over quantity. If I can give my mom one really nice thing, then it's gonna be way, she's gonna like it a lot more than having it be $200. Um, budgeting is really good for that too. The second one, the influx of group settings. I don't care how extroverted you are, you need to recharge after being around so many people in so many settings during the holidays. It's really important to set that boundary of, hey, I wanna go to this holiday party, I wanna spend this time with my family, I'm gonna go here as well. But also, your social battery is gonna die out and you really wanna take time for yourself, recharge, be with yourself, and then you're gonna have way more fun um, at the social settings and not be so burnt out. And then we have the anxiety around the food. It's seasonal, so eat it. Um, if you want another piece of pumpkin pie, then go ahead. Holidays happen once a year and they're fun for a reason and the food makes them even better. So again, the progress regarding your nutrition, just like at the gym, it's not lost overnight. So if you wanna indulge a little bit, it's not the end of the world.